We are extremely honored to offer you this exceptional group of work by Jean Royer from the late 1950s, from the collection of Dr. Oscar Majdalani in Beirut. The works have stayed with the family until today and the interior has remained largely intact and untouched all these years. Oscar Majdalani commissioned Royer to design the interiors of his home in Beirut. It has been lived with for generations and has stood the test of time in craftsmanship and style. It showcases all the aspects which make the work of Royer appealing and seductive now and then. The rigor, the elegance, humor, the sculptural shapes, the childlike eye and the simple yet luxurious expression of ornament. He worked on this commission between 1955 and 1958. Royer was given full freedom on the project. The shape of the flag table, French for puddle, illustrates the influence of biomorphism introduced by artists such as Hans Arp and Alexander Calder, and situates Royer's design within a larger international discourse. Only three examples of this model sofa are known to exist, which make the sofa extremely rare and desirable. It is the only sofa designed by Royer that references his more widely known Urpolaire sofa, the curves of this model here being more pronounced. It was in Beirut that Royer decided to open an office with the Lebanese architect Nadim Majdalani as his collaborator in 1947. One very important market for him was the Middle East, as he famously designed homes for the Shah of Iran, the kings of Egypt and Jordan. His bond was extremely strong with Lebanon, a country he fell in love with and where he met a clientele who at the time dared to forego traditional styles and embrace the new. Jean Royer and Nadine Majdalani's collaboration was so successful that its impact was felt not only in the region but in France where their projects were featured widely in French publications. In all these years, the family had not changed a thing about the interior, considering it timeless. The collection allows us a very rare glimpse into the whimsical and fantastical world of Royer.